I'm building a system that is able to learn how to learn in a specific way. By figuring out the goal of training, you're able to come up with uh, machine learning models that are able to get more accuracy and use less data. That's where evolutionary computation comes in. And evolutionary computation is really great because it's able to come up with really creative solutions across an entire space. So one of the really interesting insights that we've come up with is the ultimate goal that you're trying to reach isn't necessarily the goal you want to have. There might be a different way to get to that same goal that's better and might be faster and more efficient. One of the examples that we're looking at is image classification. So where you're trying to figure out what class an image belongs to. One example of this is if you have a handwritten digit and you're trying to figure out what digit is it. If someone writes down a number, you'll be able to be, have a computer uh, interpret what that number is all automatically. This uh, has laid the groundwork for being able to expand into really exciting problems. The big new area that we're starting to explore right now are what's called uh, generative models, where instead of trying to figure out, oh, what class does an image come into, you're creating entirely new images or new data for a specific task. So you'd be able to say, give me a picture of a horse, and the system would be able to come up with a new picture of a horse completely from scratch. You would give it just a little bit of context, sort of what you want, and then it can come up with an entirely new example. The exciting thing with this is it can come up with entirely new data that doesn't exist. For example, if you're trying to generate a, a map of a new location, for example, and you only have satellite imagery, you could potentially pass the satellite imagery into this generative model, and out you would get a map. Just looking at nature, there's so much variety out there and so many really beautiful, amazing things. And if we're able to capture even a small bit of that in AI, I think that we have a really exciting future. <laughs>